Do you want to learn about queer history? Me too. Last video I talked about Gilbert Baker, the guy who created the rainbow flag. Well, this time I'm going to talk about Harvey Milk. He's the guy who asked Gilbert Baker to create the flag. So Harvey Milk was an American politician and one of the first openly gay elected officials in the United States. Not the first, we're going to talk about them at another time, but for now we're going to stick with Harvey. He was born in 1930 in Woodmere, New York, and he moved to San Francisco in the 1970s, where he became a prominent advocate for LGBTQ plus rights. He was elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1977, representing the Castro District. During his time in office, he championed civil rights, anti-discrimination policies and affordable housing. Harvey Milk's most significant legislative achievement was the passage of San Francisco's anti-discrimination ordinance in 1978. This was designed to protect individuals from being fired or denied housing based upon their sexual orientation. At the time, LGBTQ plus people faced widespread discrimination and often losing their jobs, homes and facing hostility simply for being who they are and their identity. Milk's ordinance was groundbreaking because it helped establish legal protections for LGBTQ plus people, making San Francisco one of the first major cities to offer such safeguards. This is where we get into the bit about where Harvey met Gilbert Baker. <clears throat> when Baker moved to San Francisco in the early 1970s and became involved in the city's queer community, which was centred around the Castro district, Harvey and Gilbert Baker became friends united through activism and mutual involvement in the community. This is the time when Harvey encouraged Baker to create a symbol for the gay rights movement, something that could unite the community in its struggle for equality. And now we have the fabulous rainbow flag, and it's made its debut on June 25th, 1978, during the San Francisco's Gay Freedom Day Parade. But this was just months before Harvey's assassination. On the 27th of November 1978, Harvey Milk was assassinated alongside San Francisco Mayor George Moscone. The perpetrator, Dan White, was a former city supervisor who had resigned from his position but then sought reinstatement. When Moscone declined to reappoint White, he became enraged. White fatally shot Mayor Moscone in his office. He then went on to kill Milk, shooting him multiple times, including twice in the head at close range. Milk's assassination was a devastating blow to the LGBTQ plus movement, but it also galvanised activists, leading to greater political mobilisation. His legacy as a trailblazer for LGBTQ plus rights and his tragic death remain pivotal moments in the fight for equality in the US.